being a Keystone Symposia fellow was invaluable. It makes me a better scientist, a better colleague, a better collaborator, and a better thinker in general. Hi, my name is Jonathan Dean. I'm an investigator in the Department of Cancer Immunotherapeutics at the Genomics Institute of the Novartis Research Foundation here in San Diego, California. And I recently attended a Keystone Symposium meeting that I'd love to share with you today. The Keystone Symposium conference that I recently attended was the Nucleic Acid Sensing Pathways meeting. And this had a subtitle, which if I read it is Innate Immunity, Immunobiology, and Therapeutics. As a scientist working in industry, in a multinational company like Novartis, this was a great meeting for me to attend. First of all, my interest in nucleic acid sensing pathways goes back over 10 years now when I was a postdoc in Sylvia Boland's lab at the NIH. We, as I've moved to Novartis over seven years ago, have been focused on asking, can we develop novel therapeutics which modulate nucleic acid sensing pathways? You could imagine that these molecules which induce inflammation could be important to drive an anti-cancer response if you activate them, but of course, at the same time, they could be good at inhibiting inflammation that drives pathologies such as autoimmune diseases. And our lab, together with other labs, have been investigating this for some time now. This meeting, as a result, was so crucial for the research that I do day to day. We want to understand which targets are validated in certain diseases, which targets are druggable, which targets are safe. Even if they are druggable, the question becomes, are they safe? And a lot of the presentations approached drug discovery. There were company people. There were basic academics looking into structural biology and mechanism of action. Again, my attendance at this meeting broadened my understanding of nucleic acid sensing molecules and really impacts my day-to-day -day thoughts on how we can help patients who could benefit from an intervention that modulates nucleic acid sensing molecules. This particular Keystone Symposia conference was actually held abroad in Dresden, Germany. You might think of a ski resort when you think of a Keystone, but over the years it has expanded to be a very international set of conferences that always has a great agenda, and this was true here as well. Specifically, meeting in Germany was great because some of the, the excellent researchers in nucleic acid sensing molecules are based in Europe, and specifically Germany, including some of the organizers. And from a scenery perspective, we didn't have our time off to go and ski, but we had our time off to see this amazing city, which was destroyed largely in World War II, and seeing these rebuilt murals, seeing the cobblestone roads, and actually some of them are being built today. I took a picture of the roads as well as one of the truckloads of cobblestones, which have come together to build a new road reminds me of what we do in science. We try to take pieces and build them together into a coherent story. And just seeing this rebuilt town kind of fueled a sense of hope in my mind that we, in our quest to build together novel therapeutics and just a novel understanding of nucleic acid sensing molecules, that we were in that same sort of metaphor, that picture of what it means to put things together. In addition to attending Keystone Symposia conferences, I have, over the years, been privileged to be a Keystone Symposia fellow. Early stage scientists are incorporated in the complex process of deciding how to make the Keystone Symposia conferences that come two years in advance. We have to ask questions like, what would make a great organizer? What, what are the, the cutting edge trends that will be hot in two years? And getting to think about science in such a big picture manner not only engages us, but allows us that position of giving input on people that we know that might be less well known in the, in the fields because they're more junior, less well represented from their backgrounds. And taking that home to our basic day-to-day -day jobs of participating in the SABs was a very enriching process. Because now, as I think of my work, 
I'm not only thinking of the day-to-day or the next one or two or three steps. It might be 10 steps ahead. And that vast perspective which senior scientists have is something that is almost injected into your veins when you can really think about where is science going? And you can really talk about from your perspective where you think science is going. So for me, being a Keystone Symposia fellow was invaluable. I can't calculate the value because it makes me a better scientist, a better colleague, a better collaborator, and a better thinker in general. Being involved in Keystone Symposia, either as a conference attendee, a presenter, a member of the Keystone Symposia Fellows Program, has enriched my perspective as a scientist. And I look forward to coming to the next nucleic acid sense in Keystone, as well as encouraging others to take advantage of opportunities such as the Keystone Symposia Fellows Program and their diverse international sets of meetings that they offer. Thank you.